YouTube, what is going on? It's your boy Lasan back at you guys with another video. As you can see from the title of the video, I'm going to tell you about things you should know when locking your hair. So let's get into it. The first thing you should know when you lock your hair is your locks aren't going to turn out the way you think they're going to turn out or the way you expect them to turn out like. When I first locked my hair, like I instantly thought that they would like, I instantly thought that my locks would be like long, not long like this, but I just expected them to look not the way they did. Like when they were starter locks, like really short, like I expected them to look like I saw other people's locks look. So when I first got the comb coils, I was surprised. <laughs> I was surprised at what they looked like and I honestly did not like it. And honestly, before I got locks and understood what the process was, I just thought that people like, I honestly thought that people like could just woke up every day and put their hair like the way it was, honestly. If you thought the same thing, like comment down below. I wanna, <laughs> I wanna see if I'm not the only one who thought that people like did that every day. But I was wrong. But like the first thing you should know is that your locks aren't going to end up the way you think they are like when you first start. Unless you've been growing out your hair for like a super long time and then you get locks. But if you start with longer hair, it's going to be more difficult for your hair to lock. So just start out short. Just start out with short hair and let your hair grow through locking and your hair is going to do its thing. Another thing you should know is when you get locks, like the longer your locks get is going to be more difficult to put your favorite hats, snapbacks on your head. It's going to be hard to put your favorite hats and snapbacks on your head because you have all that hair on your head. But me, I'm more of a beanie person. And locks fit great with beanies, so I love wearing my beanies with my locks, you know what I'm saying? I still do rock snapbacks. I have one snapback that I still have, but I rarely wear it because I love wearing beanies. Like, beanies and locks just look so perfect together to me, you know what I'm saying? So, that's what I rock with my locks, but also, another thing is like, another thing you should know is like, it's going to be... The longer your locks get, the more difficult it's going to be to put on hoodies and jackets. Like, seriously, like, I wear a medium. I wear a medium hoodie. Like, when I put on my hoodie, like, because my locks are that long now, so I don't have to deal with, like, going through all the BS to put on a hoodie. Like, I put this on over my locks, so, like, it's smoother. So it's more smooth to put on my hoodie, you know what I'm saying? Because all this hair will like get in the way of putting on a hoodie. So that's how I always put on my hoodies now. I put this over my locks and put on my hoodie. And yeah, like expect for hoodies to get difficult to put on and like hoodies not to fit over your head. Like, unless you order a size up, but even still, like, if your locks are super long, it's not going to, all your locks are not going to fit in that hoodie, you know what I'm saying? So you should expect that when you get your locks, if you're watching this and you're thinking about getting locks, expect these things in your lock journey. Because if you're already starting lock, you might already know what I'm talking about. If you're already going through it. And you already had some years in the game. You know what I'm talking about. And the last thing is, the longer your locks get, best believe that it's going to take a long ass time for your locks to dry. Like the longer your locks get, they're going to take longer and longer to dry. Like seriously, it takes my locks like several hours to dry. After I wash, after a good lock wash, I just let them air dry. 
I don't blow dry my locks. Sometimes I blow dry them, but I haven't blown dried them in a long time and it's winter time, you know what I'm saying? But when I do wash my locks, try to wash them early, early in the morning and not in the afternoon. Cause if I got somewhere to go, then like, I'm not trying to get sick from the cold air, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, the things you guys need to know, let me run through them again, is locks aren't gonna turn out the way you expect them to turn out. Like when you first get them, that's one thing I said, hoodies and jackets. Hoodies and jackets aren't gonna fit the way they used to fit. Hoodies, jackets, did I say hats already? Uh, yeah, I think I said that. But hoodies and jackets aren't going to fit the way you want them to fit. The longer your locks get, the heavier they're going to get. And you just got to deal with the weight. Some people say they aren't heavy, but I feel the heaviness. But some people whose locks are like super long say they don't feel the heaviness or the weight. But I can tell you, I feel the heaviness and the weight. But it doesn't bother me. I'm still pushing. And the last thing is, the longer they get, the longer it takes for them to dry. But if you can deal with all that stuff, then come on, get into the lock community and join the family. You guys already know what it is. It's your boy, Lasan. I'm out here. Keep doing what you do. Represent one love, one nation, lock nation. Stay happy and stay nappy. One love, peace.